Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a reading. So this is going to be for those of you who have experienced any kind of pain with a connection. And when I say pain, heartbreak, sadness, betrayal, rejection, all of those things. You've either experienced it with, um, you know, a person that you thought you had a very deep connection with. It seemed like it was going really well. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of the blue, it was just like they turned the tables and you have no idea what happened. They could have literally just dropped you like you know they could have broken up with you over a text they could have just you know completely abandoned you ghosted you whatever the situation is you find yourself in a state of confusion now this could be something that's recently happened to you or this could be something that happened years ago but whatever it is it's something that either you still carry with you and it's something that still you just feel a connection to so however you label this connection it does not matter you're here watching this this video because you just would like some messages on this so these messages are not going to resonate with every person watching it or be for everyone so just watch at your own discretion um, but the thing is is we are going to just try to get some messages from spirit that are going to be uplifting and healing yes some darker energies as far as shadowy energies may come through because of course we are dealing with an individual who did do something that was not on the up and up they were either on operating out of fear, their ego, whatever the situation is, and you just either A, are looking for closure, or B, you just want to understand what's going on with this. Is this person sorry? Does this person even give a shit about what they did to you? Have they experienced any karma from this situation that, that happened between the two of you? What is the deal? So I'm going to be using a variety of different decks. I will tell you guys, or at least try to remember to tell you guys what I am using as I am using it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at this person now, who they are now, whether or not this just happened or this happened years ago, we are going to see how this person is operating now. So you can make a judgment call whether or not you know this person to be this way. And if it doesn't sound like it's them, maybe I'm not channeling your energy or situation. So let's go ahead and take a look. So these ones are called the Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards by John Holland. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at this person and just kind of like who they are, how they're mentally processing things, have they changed, is there any improvement, things like that. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to just spread those like this. And I'm going to go into these cards, which are called the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. We're going to go into these. I'm just going to put them over here on the side. I'm going to just do a little card combination. Just put them like that, okay? All right. This person, who they are mentally, what they've got mentally going on for themselves right now, just kind of how they're processing mental information. Who is this? Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles energy. So the Four of Pentacles energy, um, it does say on that card, Firm Foundation. However, the Four of Pentacles to me is a card that talks about somebody who might just be a little rigid and stuck in their ways. They might feel like what they either did to you or how they handled the situation. They might not be seeing everything clear. They might not be able to see their, you know, what they did in a bigger on a bigger scale they might still be holding on to something okay but let's go ahead and get an accent card and see what this has to do with okay so what i am getting here is that this person literally operates from the mind frame of instinct they literally just do what they think they need to do i'm seeing that this person is more of a survivalist somebody who just basically um, is into doing what they need to do in order to take care of themselves very instinctual but i'm not getting that it's a very i'm not getting it's negative and i'm not getting it's overly positive either this is just how this person operates okay they might just be very focused on survival or focused on uh, person like self um, preserving like self perseverance just somebody who is just that's how they are 
they have their own foundation this is just kind of like how they operate when it comes to dealing with other people and situations this person could just be a little stuck in their ways and that's just who they are so if this is describing somebody that you know this could be the reason or the reading for you um, but there could be other aspects that resonate and others that don't just take what does so this is how this person's heart is operating at this particular time Yes, this person here is deceiving themselves and other people. The Seven of Swords energy is um, definitely one of the uh, more negative re or negative energies within the entire tarot deck. Um, deception and envy. When somebody is operating out of the Seven of Swords energy, that just means that they um, are not able to take responsibility for their own actions. And so what I'm getting is that this is this person's current energy. They still could be this person. There could just be something where they're just taking care of their own needs and they're not really thinking about anybody but themselves. Okay, but Spirit is correcting me now. This person has changed some of this energy. This person is not one not one hundred percent this energy anymore. They may have displayed this energy with you, but they have had some sort of renewal and growth. They've done something on them with themselves in the material world to create some sort of change. Renewal to me is very similar to the tower. I'm sorry, not tower. The judgment energy in tarot. And judgment is we review our past, we review the mistakes that we've made, we review things, um, and we basically pay for the karma of the things that we have done or not done. So there has been some sort of renewal with this person when it comes to the way that they are either deceiving themselves or others when it comes to matters of the heart. So that's actually the first positive thing I felt with this person since we started this, this reading. Because mentally, they might just be a little bit rigid and just kind of like, this is just how I operate and I'm just basically here to survive. And when I get that kind of vibe from somebody, it's a little narcissistic to me, okay? But I do see that this person has gone through some changes in order to renew this aspect of themselves. So that's actually really positive. So what's going on for this person in the physical world? Okay, so this person could be, and I keep saying this person because it could be a he or she, and I want this to be a universal reading to where anybody that tunes in can apply it, okay? So I know that you guys will probably get tired of hearing this person, but that's just what I'm getting. I could just say them, okay? They. So I'll probably say they. Um, but what I'm getting here is that um, they are right now in the Three of Cups energy. They could really be um, in the energy in their environment of celebrating they could be in the public eye. They could be um, somebody who is celebrated, somebody who is recognized as somebody important in their community. Um, some kind of just they're going through a celebratory time where they are just feeling really good. They may be hanging out with family and friends and just basically taking more time to get together with other people. And we have faith. So it's through this either achievement or rejoicing or celebrating of them or just basically having a good time that something has been restored for them. Some kind of faith, hope, and renewal. Renewal here. Something has been restored for them. Whereas before, maybe they weren't feeling like they were connected to the universe or connected spiritually. I'm actually seeing that this may have changed for this person. It may be that within a, uh, a community or within some sort of um, recognition for their achievements, they're starting to feel better. They're starting to have a sense of renewed faith. Interesting. So spiritually, what's going on with this person? And I just said I wasn't going to say this person, and there I go again. Okay, yes, just what I said. They are being recognized for their achievements. Literally, this is somebody who might be in the public eye. This may be somebody who is just being rewarded for their hard work and dedication. Hmm, interesting. And it could be one of the reasons why they are in this energy of the four of pentacles they're very firm they are very focused right now in the material world they are just kind of operating on instinct they're not really operating on emotion at this present time they're just basically doing what needs to be done in order to survive and get to the next step of their career possibly that could be going on for them as well 
what the hell did I just say? Workaholic. This person is putting a lot of time and energy into working. For some of them, there could be a creative individual. They could literally be an artist. They could just be creating something, and that's why they're being celebrated through you know their achievements. Um, but yeah, somebody is just focused on work, and that's what they're doing here. So the good thing that I like about this setup here, this reading so far about this person, is that their deceptive qualities have been renewed. I'm not saying this person is perfect now. I'm not saying that they have completely 100% changed, but who they were operating, what, whatever level they were operating at before, something has shifted within them. They've seen the light. They have had some sort of awakening or epiphany. Something has, has shifted here for the positive, okay? And so mentally, they may just be one of those types of people that they do things their way and because that's just what they instinctually know what is what works for them. But the thing is, this behavior has actually helped aid this person in their career. And so through their achievements, through their celebrations of with family and friends and just basically having a good time maybe maybe this maybe this person um maybe this person was in a dark period of time and now all of a sudden in their environment they're just coming out of that dark period and they are now just having a good time they're maybe spending time with uh, family and friends maybe they weren't doing that before now all of a sudden they're out living again they're traveling they're doing fun things and it's helping to restore their faith not only in themselves but their, their faith in something and this is connected to the heart space the heart chakra of cups it's an emotional fulfilling energy so it's very positive is what i'm getting their their heart is being restored through whatever it is that they're doing in their environment okay that's really interesting so that is who this person is in general that's what they're doing right now if this does not even describe who you are thinking of it's probably best to click off this energy but this portion of the reading you may not resonate with you may resonate with the rest it's up to you so let's specifically see how they are now viewing you and this connection how are they viewing you and this connection now change up the cards so these are the psychic heart tarot and oracle cards by john holland same one same purple uh, deck but a different set and this is called the oracle of mermaids by lucy cavendish Okay, so mentally when this person thinks about you um, or how they're seeing you in their mind's eye, how they view you, this is what the message is. They feel stuck. And this is a beautiful card to come with it. This is saying kissing the divine in another and in yourself. So they feel trapped. They feel helpless and hopeless. Um it's almost like what i'm getting here is that this person is feeling love for you and their heart either now or they're just they're falling in love all over with you again for some of you i don't know i know that might sound really cheesy so just take what resonates but this they're they're um they have this new feeling of love or this feeling that's just in their heart suddenly for you um or they just they've always cared for you and it was never really about you what they did to you it was more about them the eight of swords is an energy of being trapped so we are trapped by our own fear we are trapped by um, the constraints of our own mind the things that we tell ourselves so this they they feel some kind of love and connection with you that's how they see you i mean this is the best card to me in this deck um, and the and we are getting it and that's how they view you in this connection this is how they feel in their heart 
This is what comes up when they think about you. Yeah, they're they're in their head. This person is in their head. They're they're confused. They don't know what to do because swords energy is mental energy. Two of swords is a stalemate. So obviously nothing is happening now. Now we know that twos in tarot are about decisions. We need to make some sort of decision here. And the thing is, the only way out of the two of swords energy is to go within and trust your intuition. But see, logically what this person is going through is that they that you probably hate them, that you probably would tell them to fuck off, that you would not forgive them for how they treated you. So that's what's happening here is that they are stuck now in their head and they're refusing to see some sort of solution because they're not giving in to their intuition. Their third eye, as you can see here, they're not trusting their intuition. They're not trusting their heart. So they're very um, fixated on their logical side, which tells them, mm, yeah, nah. But they feel this sudden surge of energy of you again, this wave of power. What I am getting from this is that if you watching the video have literally put your time and your energy into bettering your life after this person hurts you, or dumped you or abandoned you or betrayed you i am getting here that they are feeling this energy you are high in vibration and they are suddenly feeling this energy or they have felt this energy and it's like you are now in their heart space as a positive not a negative so there's this sudden surge now this upswing of energy that they're now filling. There's some kind of movement in their heart now when it comes to you. Even though they're refusing to see the solution on how to connect or maybe reach out, I'm seeing that they are feeling you in a very positive way. So in the physical, hey, in the physical, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. This is about flow. This is also a card of destiny. This is a card of wanting movement. And what's interesting is that this, this card here says exhilarating movement. I didn't read it, but yeah, in the physical world, they may be getting signs or feelings or nudges to come, come you know, move forward um, and move, move towards you. Uh, and we have air, oh my gosh. So this is about bringing something back to life. Let's breathe air back into this situation. Let's exchange. This person is looking to exchange with you again. So again, I know that this isn't going to resonate with everybody out there because you're probably thinking to yourself, like, if this person really cared that much, then why would they have treated me this way? You know, again, it might not be for everybody, but for some of you out there, who knows, maybe just a handful you you haven't seen this person or talked to them in a very long time and so it's you don't really know what's going on um and so enough time could have gone on to where there's suddenly there's a shift that suddenly there is this energy um that is now coming to life again for this person <laughs> so the air uh this is something about bringing something back to life the flow in this connection again so this is, uh, this is how this person is seeing you in the physical. They're wanting to actually come towards you and bring this back to life and exchange this exchange, like literally like exchange this, this energy, this flow between the two of you. That's beautiful. Okay. And overall spiritual energy. Let's take a look. All right, overall spiritual energy, we have the balance card. This is the card of Sagittarius. So it could be that somebody is a Sagittarius. It could be them, you, whoever, but it doesn't have to be. Just because you're not or they're not, it doesn't mean it can't apply. But I do like to mention it. So this means that they have done some sort of healing. They have taken the time to do some sort of healing and to balance some kind of energy or thought or feeling about you, which is why they are suddenly here. They are feeling you in this energy and there's suddenly the surge of power with you. Okay, so that's that. Yep, they are looking at you. 
they are feeling it uh, they are determined they have also worked on their independence this could be somebody who is you know like a freelance type of a person um, somebody who is you know they run their own business they're independently working um, in the world so this is somebody who has created a lot of balance within themselves they've really created a lot of um, healing and it's through their freedom that they've been able to do this but i'm just seeing too that they also see you as being somebody who's very independent and self-determined and you know because they're feeling this energy kind of like what i got from this really right now you let this person go you let them go and because you let them go maybe no one else has been able to just truly walk away from this person and let them go but you did you did nobody else has been able to do that maybe other people have hung on maybe this person was able to you know hold on to other connections and relationships because they just kind of you know maybe they didn't abruptly end things or totally put the the nail in the coffin in those other connections but they did it with you for some reason or maybe something happened you found out something so maybe you put the nail in the coffin of the connection but what I'm getting here is that you freed yourself from this person and when you did that and you took back your power and you became fiercely independent and self-determined that you almost mirrored back to them who they are and that's something that this person can respect maybe this person was not able to properly connect with you before and that's not to put the blame on you at all but maybe you came into this connection and you felt very passionate and you felt like you wanted to connect with this person and you were ready to connect with them because you felt this amazing connection and maybe they felt it too and they even talked to you about it how they felt it but then all of a sudden they changed their freaking mind you know it could be anything like that but what I'm truly getting from this is that you are now mirroring back to this person who they truly are. You're on their same vibration. And you may just realize here, see again, this person is feeling your wave of power. Now you're in this power position. You cut them off. You're living your life. You're successful. You've survived. You've survived them. And something is happening here for them. They either respect it they're either curious now about it they're feeling a pull towards you there's something there anyways so let's go ahead and go into some other energies what has this person experienced in regards to just life in general what are some situations and things that they have dealt with because of what they did something that they did to you that was very negative it was very traumatic for you what have they had to experience and go through because of what they did so yes this is going to be karma this is going to be some sort of an energy that has to do with karma and lessons and different things like that let's take a look so these right here are the um, Chiro Marchetti decks. This is the Grand Lux Tarot. And I got this directly from the Chiro Marchetti site. It's not one I could find on Amazon, just so you guys know. And then from also Chiro Marchetti, I've got the Kipper cards and the Lenormand cards which I do need to get the extended version because this one doesn't have all the cool cards in it. It's like I bought it and then they made the additional version. Okay. Okay, so this person has experienced another relationship either since you or they're currently in one right now, okay? But I'm really getting that the majority of these messages are coming through for people that have been in separation with this partner for a little bit of time. It's not like it just happened yesterday, okay? But it is either through another connection that they did or they are learning something about what happened or what they did to you. Oh, wow, okay. This either means that they were walked away from, as in somebody said, I don't want to be in this connection anymore, it's just not working for me, or they still didn't find what it was that they were looking for. Maybe they had this vision of this perfect person, 
and maybe they found this person and everything was great and everybody loved this person. They were picture perfect, they were educated, they were high class, pretty, whatever the situation was. Their parents loved them, their friends loved them, their associates loved this person. But there was something missing. There was something missing for them. And so they found themselves back to square one where they always were, when they, where they were at with you. And they walked away from this or something happened with them, this person that they were with, and that they walked away from them. Some kind of walking away because I desire something more. Something about the grass wasn't greener on the other side is coming through for them. So they didn't find what they were looking for after you after all okay oh, this one flew off camera i'm gonna have to get it <laughs> yeah so it literally led them to a choice they needed to figure out where do i go from here so they made a choice to walk away or the person that they were dealing with walked away from them regardless there was a choice that was made to walk away or there's a choice being made right now as in somebody is still not satisfied in the relationship that they're in and they're they're looking to get out of it. We also have child. So it could be for some of them that they did get together with somebody and they had a child and that was just a karmic partner and this is just something that they came together and did. Or maybe they were looking to have a child, but something happened to where this person wasn't fertile or it's just not what they were looking for. So it wasn't the right person to have a family with or start a family with. But also when I see the child, it does have to do with childish behavior. And so it could just be that it was very premature on this person's part to think that they were actually ready for um, a certain type of a commitment that maybe this person actually thought that they were ready for. Four of Wands, this is a card of marriage. They probably thought, or maybe this connection that they were in was actually headed towards a stronger commitment doesn't necessarily have to be marriage but maybe they thought they had the cat in the bag this is it this is where i'm going to lay my roots down this has got to be it for me and it wasn't it just wasn't they thought it was but it wasn't yeah they thought they met their queen of coins and the thing is they probably did okay they were the, the meaning like the person that you're watching this video for their partner the person that they were in this relationship with after you or whatever during you whatever the situation um, is they were accomplished this person actually looked really good they were abundant they were successful they were educated they were smart they were practical logical stable they looked really good actually and i'm getting that they that, that the person that you're watching this video for that they did feel a connection with this person initially. They did. They did feel a connection with them, okay? But something happened. Something happened here to where it caused them to also walk away from this relationship. So if you are watching this and you're not understanding why someone did what they did, they walked away from you, you don't understand that the connection felt like it was there, they said it was there, you said it was there, you guys talked about it, you had all these plans for some of you, um, and then all of a sudden they just like totally ghosted you or they just walked away or they just ended things abruptly and it just left you feeling like, I don't get it. But I'm getting that the next person that they went on to didn't get it either. <laughs> they didn't get it either. This person could also be suffering from childhood issues, meaning that the issues that they have are so deep. And just when I was talking about that, so deep, so deeply rooted like a freaking anchor, okay? That it literally causes this person not to be able to fully give themselves to a commitment. They might be so rigid in their ways of not wanting to let go of their independence or it may be that they fear that by committing to somebody and getting married that they're going to lose their foundation that they're going to lose their independence so there could be some kind of issue that stems and it's very childish type of of um energy very selfish type of an energy that somebody cannot commit or somebody that just can't you know, do the long haul. They can't do the relationship. They can't do the commitment. There's some kind of an issue there. Okay. Yeah, fucking tower, dude. A tower moment. 
something came crashing down in this whole dynamic and situation for this person. That's the thing. They had it all lined up, they had it ready to go, and then bam, something happened. They either made a stupid decision or a stupid choice, they screwed up, they, they screwed around maybe, and whatever happened caused total devastation. They either shot this person down or crushed their dreams and their world and walked away from them or they did something stupid and this person walked away from them. So what I, why I'm bringing this up, you guys, is because you might be thinking to yourself, they moved on with their lives, they're happy now, and you know what, maybe for some of you, they, you know that they're together with somebody and you see them on social media and they are living a happy life. This reading is probably not for you. This reading is for people that you don't really know what's going on or maybe you do and you know that this person was in a great relationship and it looked on the outside like everything was fucking fantastic, but you do know that it's over now. And so here's the evidence right here of what happened. And that might be exactly what you just kind of needed to hear as confirmation that this person may have thought they had it in the bag and then something happened because see, this is karmic. What they did to you or how they treated you and other people, it might not just be about you, but how they've been dealing with relationships and their life and the decisions that they've made in love have finally come to bite this person in the ass and they lost something of value here. They lost something in value, a value with you, and this person I'm seeing was not that bad, meaning that this person was very valuable to them. This person was a value, but they let it go and they screwed it up. Something's just not there, and they walked away. They lost it. So karmically, did this person get what they deserved in some sort of way? Yes, they did. They did, so you can rest assured that they have learned something here from the devastation of some other relationship. They may not have learned it from you, but they have gone into another situation that caused them to realize that there's something wrong with them, that there's some kind of action that needs to be taken when it comes to their heart and when it comes to love and that would be probably why they're in this energy in their heart space right now they have either lied to other people they've been lying to themselves deceiving themselves for so long and this tower has created some sort of renewal some sort of epiphany for them it's almost like the crumbling of this relationship helped to get them back on track with themselves okay so and we can see through these other cards that how they're feeling towards you is actually quite positive. So you may be also a part of this person's tower moment to where now all of a sudden after this relationship went to shit, now they're suddenly starting to think about how they hurt you, how they hurt this person. They're examining all the things that they've done in the past. And now this person wants a renewal. I'm not saying they want to jump into a relationship with you. I'm not saying that they want to come back to you right now, but just have, have some sort of, I hope it gives you some sort of um, solace, I guess. Take solace in the fact that they have felt something and it is connected to you. And I think that that's beautiful that Spirit's giving us this here today. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, will they possibly in the future will they apologize will they come forward and maybe say i'm sorry maybe through a text maybe through something they post on social media that you just know that connects the two of you or you get some sort of sign or whatever that it has something to do with you who knows will this person possibly make amends to you Will they present some sort of apology, perhaps, or try to remedy something? Or will they stay either in fear and stuck, as we saw with the Eight of Swords energy, and refusing to see Two of Swords? Is there any possibility of change? Okay, so these right here are my cards. 
This is the um, Mystic Moon Twin Flame Oracle. The only difference with this deck here is that it doesn't say Mystic Moon's Oracle and the ones I have for sale do. And those are available at my Etsy shop, but they're pre-order only because I have them still on the way. Okay. Okay, so we have a third party. The reason that this would come up is because either you yourself watching this video are with somebody right now and they either know it or they sense it or something like that, okay? Or it could be that they are in fact in another relationship and so they're not coming forward. So they're feeling these things. They have learned something here. They've had some kind of tower moment in regards to another situation, but maybe since that situation that they've had that tower moment, Maybe they've gotten involved in another, uh, in another relationship, but take the message as it resonates. There's some kind of third party here that may be a factor of them coming, coming uh, forward and creating a fresh new start. But I love that we have a hand that is actually making some sort of an offer and an opportunity of growth. So this could be a friendly offer. It could be some sort of token of affection of, you know, that says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for victimizing you. But this person could also feel like, you know, tied up, like they can't move forward. They can't come towards you. We have tribe. So I'm also getting here that this person may, because um, I did see three of cups for them, and they are spending a lot of time with family and friends. They're spending a lot of time with people that are in their tribe. Uh, they're really taking care of themselves. They're they're feeling quite, quite well. They are spending a lot of time just, um, you know, traveling or doing fun things and they're rejuvenating themselves and so that's really where a lot of their focus is at and it might not be actually coming towards you at this time doesn't mean that they won't doesn't mean that they haven't thought about it but it just means to me like they might feel a little tied up still or they might still be in a third party situation doesn't even necessarily need to be a uh, romantic situation it could literally be that they are involved in business deals right now and this is something that's taking a, a good majority of their time yeah, and good old-fashioned fear is holding this person back. <laughs> good old-fashioned fear. They're fearful. They're fearful of coming towards you. Um, they're probably feeling that they just don't know if you would actually, you know, have anything to do with them. They're not sure whether or not you would just cut them with the sword with your words. They might not be able to just handle it right now. Yeah, bound. Okay, so this is like the devil card for me that I came up with. Uh, bound by their fear bound by the fact that they victimized you and they know it. Um, this is definitely somebody who does recognize what they did. So you're not dealing with somebody who is completely oblivious to what they caused you. They know what they did. So just again, I hope you have some relief in that, that this person knows that they, they know they fucked shit up for you in your life. They do. They know that they destroyed this. But see, they also destroyed that other relationship that they were in too. So it's not just you. So if you can take anything from this reading, know that this person, it's like you were not the only victim. They victimized other people or they've been victimizing people their entire life. And the reason why is because they are a victim in some way. And it could be due to some sort of childhood crap. And what I mean by that is maybe the way that they have seen relationships play out maybe there was some kind of traumatic event that happened in their lives that made them feel like it's not safe to love maybe they didn't get that type of love and compassion from one parent maybe there was their father or maybe the mother um but yeah there's just definitely something where they're bound by their fear and they may just destroy everything that comes in their path because they don't know how to be intimate or truly happy when it comes to a relationship but we do have spring, which does promise some sort of growth. This could be a time marker for some of you that maybe you hear from this person, or it could be that something really happened to this person in spring, and so now suddenly they're feeling your energy again. Something happened in spring, and now they're feeling your energy. Yeah, we have lessons too. So I'm just getting that they, even though they are bound by fear and even though they've been on a destructive path for quite some time, they have learned some sort of lesson here. They have some sort of knowledge. So they're not operating on all fear and they're not operating on no knowledge of what to do. They still have a logical, practical mind. And it might be that they are looking to try to figure out how, if they were to if they were to make some sort of move towards you, um, they might need to kind of plan this out. So it's not somebody who's just gonna, 
you know, run and offer you a cup of love or, or a, you know, passionately just tear into your life. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, that could come up in future cards, but that's just not what I'm really feeling here. So they may just need some more time. They may need to learn some more things and, and get some more lessons under their belt before they actually can can handle um, coming coming forward and giving some sort of an apology. So I'm not getting that they're actually going to offer you something, but I am seeing that there is growth, there is potential through lessons and through more knowledge and more time. That's what Spirit is, is willing to give us today, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what does this person want to tell you, okay? What do they want to tell you at this time? This right here is called the Self-Care Cards by Cheryl Richardson. And why am I using these cards to discuss what this person wants to tell you? I have no idea. I just am using them. So we'll just see what happens. What they want to say to you. So these ones, I'll always put them face down because this is like a two, like you could, there's an image on the front and there's something on the back, but I can kind of hide them and pick. This is what this person wants to, to communicate with you. Okay. So it says something about nature. So it says, take a walk, let the beauty of nature feed your soul. I am getting that this person is telling you that they are taking the time to smell the roses. They are taking time out for them. I actually saw this person being in a very tranquil energy with that balance card, the temperance card. Um, they're really taking time to just kind of get back to nature, get back to the basics within themselves. They're actually doing a lot of healing at this present time. So that's what they're telling you that they're doing. That's what they're communicating with you. And they are telling you that you're, they're aware of what they did. And I just said this earlier, this is a confirmation. They're very aware of how you feel and how you felt and what they did. So it's a confirmation from them that, that, that they're aware of the problem. They're aware of their own shit and they're aware of what they did to you and what they caused you. And reflect, they've taken the time to reflect big time. This person has been thinking about some stuff for quite some time. It's not like all of a sudden just yesterday they woke up. No, I'm seeing that this person has had some sort of an epiphany or an awakening or a new level of awareness. Uh, they've definitely had growth. They've had some sort of, um, what was that card that came up earlier? What is the card that came up earlier? Hold on, you guys. What card came up? Yeah, renewal. They've had some sort of renewal, some sort of an awareness, awakening. They've had that. So because of this, it's given them an opportunity to reflect. It's given them an opportunity to reflect on how they, you know, see themselves, how they view relationships, what they want, what they don't want. They've taken time. That's what they're telling you here. They've taken time. Yeah, they're retreating. Most definitely, this, this person is definitely taking time for them right now. They're, they're taking a time or taking time to just chill, have fun with family and friends, rejuvenate their spirit, they may have just gotten out of that relationship that they were in and they may have been in that relationship for a while and so they're just enjoying being single right now they're enjoying not being attached to anybody right now whatever it is they're in retreat mode so they're obviously not coming forward you know at this time and you're not hearing from them because they're in retreat mode this is much like the hermit card they're going within for their answers they're taking time to reflect they're becoming aware of something they're going out into nature you know, it makes a lot of sense what's coming from this person. Yeah, independence. I mean, they're really focused on their independence. This already came up. I have to point it out. It's already come up for this for them. Freedom, independence, retreat, reflection, nature. I mean, they're very focused on their own healing at this present time. They're not hyper-focused on a relationship. So it's nothing personal. It's just that that's not where they're at right now. Okay? So that's what they want you to know. They want you to know that if you're not hearing from them, it's not really about you. It's about the fact that that's what they're doing for their own soul development at this present time. It's, it's actually quite positive. <clears throat> so let's get some messages um, on regards to uh, what they truly want, what they would truly want. Okay, so if this person is ready in the future, what do they truly want with you in this connection? Okay, if they weren't fearful, 
and they could just basically throw caution to the wind. What would they really want? What do they really want with you in this connection? This one is called the Wild Wisdom Fairy Cards or Fairy Oracle Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Okay, so this person is definitely seeking solace and solitude right now. Okay, so what do they truly want? Well, they still want their 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 own, you know, space. They want time away. They, they need to just basically go within. They need to return to nature. That's literally what this card says, return to nature. And we just got the nature card. So this person definitely needs their space for some time. Yeah, they're far, far away from you. You guys are not together. They feel far away from you. It's been a while. But we have creative daydreaming. This person could be a creative individual. This is coming up again. But they could be creatively daydreaming, like they're daydreaming about their dreams. They're creating something in the material world. Um, they're just creating their, their future, creating their life. It could also mean that they're creatively daydreaming about, you know, you. And we have Dark Moon. Growing up, somebody has gone within somebody has gone into the darkness somebody has gone to the dark side of the moon and they are now growing up they're maturing you know we had the child come up that was very immature energy very selfish self-centered energy this person has changed this person has come out of this darkness within themselves so i'm just getting that you know we're asking what does this person truly truly want what i'm getting here from spirit is that the reason that cards are not popping up that are kind of giving us you know an answer as to what this person truly wants with you is because they're still they're not done healing they're not done healing yet. And maybe you are not either. Okay? So it might be very far away in the distance that the two of you would even come together or that they would even make any kind of um, effort or energy towards you. Yeah, we do have communication. But the thing is, is that relationship work needs to be done first. So this is not something that's going to happen immediately like that. This is going to take some time. It's going to take time. And last card. Yep, we have Keeper of Secrets. People aren't talking. No, no, no. So they're keeping silent about something. They're holding on to their, they're holding their mud. They're holding on to what they really think, what they really feel. They're not uh, making communication. So it does not mean that this is not going to happen. It just means that what they truly, truly want, they want to hold on to what they feel and know for a period of time. It feels safer for them to do that while they're healing, while they're doing their work, because they realize that they need to work on themselves in order to be in a relationship. There is no reason why this person would come back into your life after what they did to just come into your life again and turn it upside down because they're just still not ready for a commitment or they're not ready for a relationship. So if this person truly hadn't changed, I would say, yeah, maybe they're coming back. But see, they're different now. So they're not going to come at you in the old ways. They're actually, if they do come um, towards you in the future, it's actually going to be in a, in a positive, growing up, more mature way. But it's going to take time. So, all right. So now what we will do is we will go ahead and take a look at the energy that connects the two of you while you are in separation. These are the Chakra Mindset Balance Oracle Cards. What is the energy that connects the two of you while you are apart? We have self-nurturing. The more that people nurture themselves, so that means that you're taking care of you, they're taking care of themselves, we can already see this. You guys are actually connected with this energy. So the more that they take care of themselves, the more that you take care of yourself, it's like this energy connects the two of you. So this is a very positive energy exchange that's happening with you and them right now. Connection to earthly possessions. So what I'm getting here from this is that you guys may be uh, right now working on the same exact goals. And I'm not saying like the same exact profession, but it could be that right now you guys are working on your connection to money, to finances, to career, to um, achievements. 
So I'm not seeing that being a negative either. It's in the um, the purple energy, which I think is like the uh, crown or the third eye energy. I mean, it's a higher vibration. It's not something that's lower vibrational energy. Yeah, we have spirituality. The two of you are connected right now in the higher realms. That's for sure. We definitely have the self-nurturing that's going on with the solar plexus energy. And um, so there is like this physical sensation between the two of you. The more that you take care of your bodies, the more that you take care of yourselves in the material world, the more that you um, take time for you just to enjoy yourself. There is this energy that happens. Which I'm almost getting like you guys are doing the same exact things, but you're not even aware of it. You guys are both taking care of your bodies. You guys are both taking care of yourselves. You guys are both changing the way that you connect with your earthly possessions and money. And we also have spirituality. We have two people that are either really connected to spirituality right now, um, or they're really connected in the spiritual realms. We have third eye and also cr uh, crown, third eye and crown chakra here. So we have two energies of the higher realms that connect you and this person. So spiritually, the two of you are connected anyways. So, I mean, it could be that you do identify this person as being either a soulmate or a twin flame connection, and you guys are connected there. So that's just really amazing to me. So no negative energy that's going on between the two of you. So the fact that this person has changed, the fact that maybe you have forgiven this person and they're suddenly feeling your energy again and they're seeing you in a very positive way, it is could be because you have shifted something within your material world. You know, that, that could be what it is, okay? So the last messages that we will do is future energies. Future energies of this connection. What does the future have in store for these two? Okay, so these ones right here are called the uh, Gaia Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. And this red deck right here is called the Art of Love Tarot. Same maker, Tony Carmine Salerno. So I'm just going to put those right here. I don't know why this card's in here. It's called Stardust. I don't know. It was just in here. Actually, there's two of them. What the hell? Okay. So Stardust and Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. This could be from somebody else's reading that I did, but it's in this deck. So I've got to take it as it's significant. Unconditional love. Huh. Beauty and the Beast. You've taken time to unconditionally love the beast, the beast that hurts you. I'm just getting here that there is some kind of an energetic shift that has taken place because you have done some sort of spiritual work when it comes to forgiving this person. Stardust is talking about premonitions, galactic communication. This is higher realm communication, which we actually just saw. You and this person are connecting in the higher realms right now. They may not understand what that is. Maybe you do. Um, maybe they are having some kind of just you know, um, energies connected to you that are of the higher realms. And that might be why they're so connected to you right now. It might be why they're thinking about you right now. Okay. So this is going to be future energies between the two of you. So that to me was just like a special message. Future energies is the queen of wands energy. Could be a fire sign person. We did have Sagittarius that popped up earlier. So this could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. The queen of wands is feeling really, really good. She's feeling very confident. She is in alignment with her life's purpose. She's very spiritual and things are being illuminated for her. So this is actually a really positive card. Yeah, we have the search. So the search says feeling lost, confused, and lonely. But I'm getting here that she is going to be, her path is going to be illuminated. She is not going to feel lost moving forward. So you might feel lost right now, the person that's watching this video, or perhaps this is the person that you are watching this video for. But I am seeing that whatever they feel like they are searching for, that search is going to come to a close. They're no longer going to be confused. They're no longer going to feel lonely. Something is going to come to light for them. They're going to feel um, whole is, is actually what I'm getting here. And we have the 10 of trees, 10 of pentacles energy. It's amazing. So the future energies between you and this person is that. But the thing is, it does come with night wind, which talks about facing fear, subconscious release and healing. So after we face our fears, after we release things and heal, which obviously we can see that this person that we're watching the video for is in some sort of state of fear, we can have that 10 of pentacles energy. It's a foundation. It is a commitment. It is loyalty. 
it's everything you want. I mean, it's like the Ten of Cups, but it's with way more punch because you have the solid foundation of a stable situation. Okay, it's not just based on emotion. It's actually based on something that's practical and physical and tangible that you can see in the material world. And we have retreat, which is the uh, Virgo card here. Somebody could be a Virgo. It's the hermit. Retreat contemplation. So people do go within. They take time to go within. I'm already seeing this for the person that we're watching the video for, moonlight. So through travel, this person is... Um, they have the potential to discover something about themselves. So I do see that this person is traveling and they are spending a lot of time just basically having a good time and they're retreating. They may be going to um, different hotels or retreats possibly and they're just really finding time to contemplate. It's really giving them an opportunity to think about what it is that they truly want and what they truly desire. That is just what I'm seeing from this. So this is actually a good retreat and I'm seeing that they may need to be alone. Again, this person does need some time to the, themselves or to their selves. But we do have the Sacred Heart, which talks about spiritual communi communion. Two people coming together, and now we have the Ten of Hearts. Two people coming together because of the Sacred Union. You know, this is just, it, what I'm getting, you guys, is that regardless of what happens with you and them, it doesn't matter. You guys have a special connection. They're, they're probably starting to feel it and sense it. They may not 100% be ready to uh, embrace this, but you know it, or else you probably wouldn't be watching this video. Um, there is some kind of unconditional love that has happened here. I'm seeing that the probably the feminine energy is in more control of herself and more awakened than the person that still needs to go and do their retreat, okay? But through this retreat, we're gonna come out and this future energy of the 10 and the 10 of pentacles. What did I just say? This is a little bit better than the 10 of um, hearts to me because this is based on loyalty. It's based on a foundation. And now we have two cards that come up that have it all. Stability, foundation, and love. Marriage, commitment. So there's a possibility in the distant future that you and this person could come together and actually have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups energy. It's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and close up this reading now with some messages from our guides, okay? Messages from our angels. This one here is called the Answer, Angel Answers by Dorian Virtue. Okay, so if you believe an opportunity and look for a sign so I want to see what spirit has to say about all these things so it's like if you believe that you and this person are meant to be if you believe that this is something that can happen there is something about <laughs> your intentions and the law of attraction that also play into this as well it's not just wishful thinking if you truly believe that this is going to happen you know what we align our thoughts with we create and it's not against someone's will. It just means that there's definitely something that, um, there's definitely some kind of energy here where we can help aid in that direction. So these right here are called the dream reading cards. And I just recently got them and I really, really like them. It does have two sections, but I just, I like to put them together. So they're not the best uh, quality, but I sure do like the pictures. Okay, so when it comes to looking for a sign, what is Spirit trying to tell us here? Look for a sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a red card and a gold card. Look for a sign. Water. We could be talking about a water sign individual. So the sign that you might have just got is that the person that you're watching this video for, if they're a water sign, that's your sign that this is your person, that this is something that can work, okay? You also may receive some sort of, um, you know, vision or some sort of um, just experience near water, okay? 
There just could be something about water that is a sign for you. You see something in water. You see uh, an animal in water, just something, whatever is, whatever makes sense to you. There is definitely some kind of an energy here that's connected to water. So look for a sign around water, or if your person is a water sign individual, which would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And that I believe did come up. I don't know if that came up in the reading already, but anyways, there's some kind of energy that's surrounding that. Okay. So let's get a gold card. And flow, hey, water and flow, that's crazy, you guys. So it could be that the sign that you receive is connected to some sort of flow body of water, okay? Or the sign is telling you to go towards a body of water, um, that that's where you're going to either see someone, meet someone, um, reconnect, uh, where you're going, where you're just supposed to end up, something maybe drawing you to go and move towards a body of water. I don't know what that is. It could be traveling across water or just basically going with the flow like water. Just look for the sign and the sign maybe you just need to let go and go with the flow. Okay, you guys, if you believe what is this message, if you believe birth and babies, hey, if you believe that you're supposed to come together with this individual and have babies, there's a good chance that that's probably a possibility, okay? And that might not resonate with all of you, so I'm going to go ahead and draw another card. But if you feel like this is the person that you're supposed to come together with and have babies, that might be a sign for you right there, if you believe. And we have possessions, okay? So if you believe that you cannot let go of something in the material world, that you are not going to be able to start over and start fresh. That will be your experience. You will not be able to let go. You will be bound by your possessions, okay? If you believe that you do not have enough, that you were not good enough, that you don't make enough money, that you have a lack, that will be your experience. That is what Spirit's saying there, okay? We have connection. If you believe in this connection, there it is. If you believe in this connection, then that is your truth. That is your reality. This connection. And opportunity. What's the opportunity? The opportunity, it says chaste. Interesting. So this is, okay, so what this says, it says, what are you running away from? What is making you feel overwhelmed? What are you afraid of or are unwilling to face? Chaste. Are you blowing an opportunity or maybe this person is blowing an opportunity because we're afraid there's some kind of fear. Okay. We're fear. We're very fearful of this opportunity that is before us or this opportunity that we just know is beckoning us, but we are afraid and we have creativity. It could literally be connected to you're afraid to take your creativity or your, um, just some sort of endeavor to the next step, okay? This is a creative opportunity, an opportunity for you to be able to create something, and it doesn't have to be um, creative pursuits. It doesn't have to be that you're an artist or that you're a musician or anything like that. It could just literally be about creating an opportunity, but the thing is you might be feeling like you can't chase this opportunity because you are afraid to go after something. So an opportunity wants to come to you, but Spirit's saying that you may be too afraid to go after something, to go after your dreams. And that's something that's going to stand in the way of this connection because what you believe you will create. And that's what Spirit's trying to say there. All right. So I know I said it was over, but last message, one message from our guardian angel. This is going to leave us with one final message, whatever it may be. Here it is. This is the Guardian Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. One Guardian Angel message to close up this reading. What is the last message that you want to give to everyone watching? All right, there's one that flew over here. I'm going to take it. Oh, my. Healer of emotions, queen of cups. Another water energy here, you guys. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to uh, nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. 
Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups embodies so much. This is about emotional healing. This is about psychic insights. This is about somebody who has taken the time to heal themselves on an emotional level to where they are now going to be ready or will be ready in the future for great love. So whoever's watching this video, if you feel like you've got a shit ton of things to heal, you better get on it because spirit is telling you there is definitely some sort of an energy flow, things that want to flow to you in the future. I mean, we just looked at the energies. Things want to flow to you in the future. So all you got to do is be ready for it and say yes when it comes because this person may come back. And even if they don't come back, Maybe it is in the form of someone else that is going to deliver to you great love that you truly deserve. So anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for watching this reading. And I do want to say thank you to everyone who subscribes, comments, and donates to my channel. I appreciate it more than you know. You have no idea. And seriously, when I look through the comments, even though I don't always comment back, um, I sometimes just laugh my ass off because a lot of you just have just the greatest things and just the funniest stories to share. So I really do enjoy it. So thank you so much, you guys. Catch you guys next time. Bye.